All right, so we are back in our packet. We are on page 16. Okay, we're on page 16. I need everybody to turn there. So we learned about solubility curves and we are going to be continuing <clears throat> with those. I need you to be sure you pay attention right here. Um, I'm gonna do these with you. It is for a grade, so be sure you're paying attention and doing them along with me. The first question says, which salt is the least soluble in water? Now this graph is our standard graph. It's showing the solubility or how much solute will dissolve in 100 grams of water at the temperatures below. So standard is 100 grams of water. If we change the grams of water, we're gonna talk about what that means. So if the salt is the least soluble, when they say salt, they're talking about usually a metal and a non-metal. The least soluble at 20, I would go to 20 degrees. The lowest line, the one that will dissolve the least is this one right here. So KClO3 is the least soluble. Now, how many grams of potassium chloride can be dissolved in 200 grams of water? Standard is 100 grams of water. So we've got potassium chloride, which is KCl, that's this line right here, okay? And it says how much can be dissolved. We know if our point hits the line, it is saturated and that's what we want. That's dissolving all that it can. So at 80 degrees, so I go to 80 degrees, I go up to potassium chloride. There is my point. So in 100 grams of water, I can dissolve 50 grams of potassium chloride. So 50 grams will dissolve in 100 grams of water. That means in 200 grams of water, that's double the water, I can have double the solute. So 50 times two is 100. Now let's look at number three, potassium nitrate, KNO3. That is this line right here. It says at 40 degrees, how much can be dissolved in 300 grams of water? So 40 degrees, I'm right here. I wanna go up to my line, potassium nitrate, and it looks like I'm right there around 40. It might actually be right on 40. We're gonna say it's right on 40 because if I look, it's pretty close to 40. So in 100 grams of water, we can dissolve 40 grams of potassium nitrate. So in 300 grams of water, that's three times the water, I can dissolve three times the solute. So four times three is 120. Now, it can be about, I'm gonna do a little squiggly line for about 120. You could have a little more or a little less. Which salt shows the least change from zero to 100? That is gonna be your NaCl because it has very little change. So NaCl, it's almost flat. So here we have 30 degrees Celsius, 90 grams of sodium nitrate. Now sodium nitrate is this line right here. So it says at 30 degrees, so I go 30 degrees at the bottom up to 90 grams. That point is a little bit below the line. So that is going to be unsaturated. Okay, so if we look at number six, it says a saturated solution, so a solution on the line for potassium chlorate, that's this one right here, KClO3, is formed at 80 degrees Celsius. So at 80 degrees, I go up to potassium chlorate and I can dissolve 40 grams. That's why I wrote a 40 gram right there. Then we cool it down to 50. Now on 50, I can dissolve 20 grams. So at 80, I can dissolve 40. At 50, I can dissolve 20. So that means that I have a 20 gram difference right there. So when I cool it down, how many grams of precipitate are gonna be formed? 20 grams. All right, what compound shows a decrease in solubility? This one is going down. So that's a decrease in solubility, that's NH3. Which salt is the most soluble at 10? Salt is gonna be an ionic compound, so at 10, the most soluble is Ki. Least soluble at 50, if I go to 50, the lowest line is this one right here. So KClO3. Which salt is least soluble at 90? Now here's what I need you to see. At 90, the lowest line is NH3, but the lowest line for a salt is going to be this line right here, which is NaCl. 
Okay, now we are going to turn to page nine. On page nine, I have done a few of them for you that I thought were pretty um, important to see. What I want you to do is I want you to go back and look at your notes on page one, two, and three and see if you can find these answers. Alloy is not going to be used at all. Solution C is going to be number one, a mixture where it's the same composition throughout. So be sure for number two, you put M. For number four, you put Q, and be sure you read those because there is a nonpolar one. Um, what I want you to do is look at the bottom. We've got K is 12, L is 14, and G is 15. So you can work with somebody on this one, but it is for a grade, so be sure that you turn it in. So be sure you get C and M for one and two, Q for four, and then 12, 13, and 14, I'm sorry, 12 should be K, 14 should be L, 15 should be G. All right, let's look at progress learning. So you're going to go to clever.com, click on progress learning, and we're going to look at your answers. Now, some of yours will have these answers on there. Some of yours might not have these questions, so just be sure you're looking. So, for the first one, it says, based on the solubility chart, which salt is the most soluble at 25 degrees? I got 25 degrees, and I go here to most soluble. I'm going to get that's potassium iodide. But that's not an option. So what I need to do is I need to find out of these four which one is the most soluble. So potassium iodide wasn't there. So at 25 degrees, the next highest would be sodium nitrate. And that is there. I'm going to click on the answer, I'm going to check it, and it is correct. Here, it says the graph shows the solubility of several different salts. According to the graph, which salt makes a saturated solution, meaning the point is going to be on the line, at 60 grams and 40 degrees? So 40 degrees, I go up to 60 grams, and it is this line right here, which ends up being potassium nitrate. All right, which conclusion is based, can be made, all these lines go up. So increasing the temperature is gonna increase their solubility. All right, which compound demonstrated the least increase in solubility? That is sodium chloride. Now, by the way, your questions will be in a different order. So you have to find these questions so you can pause this video and find them. Least increase in solubility is sodium chloride. It is almost flat. All right, which solubility graph depicts the increase of solubility associated with an increase in temperature? We want one that temperature and solubility are both increasing. So this one's the only one that increases both or the whole time. All right, the solubility curve of this compound is missing this label. What would it be? Temperature, we put temperature on the bottom. All right, if Marie and Calvin dissolve 50 grams of KBR and 100 grams of water at 90 degrees, remember 100 grams of water is just standard. So 50 grams at 90 degrees, 50 grams right here, 90 degrees. Okay, so my point is right where my cursor is and we're looking at KBR. KBR is above that point. So if we have our point below the line, it is unsaturated. All right, 180 grams of potassium iodide at 30 degrees. 30 degrees, we go up, 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 up. 180 is right on the line, so it is saturated. All right, this one, solubility is how much something will dissolve at a given temperature. Which one shows the greatest change over a temperature range? So the greatest change means we start at the lowest and go to the highest, that is KNO3. Okay, what is the solubility of KBR at 80 degrees? We go to 80 degrees at the bottom, we go up to KBR, and we find out our solubility is right in between 90 and 100, which would make it about 96. 
Okay, some of you may not have this question. If you do, which one shows the greatest increase in solubility as a result of temperature? It is the line that is the steepest, the greatest increase, and that is potassium nitrate. Now, it says which compound demonstrate a constant rate of increased solubility? Constant is usually going to be a increase, an increasing line with a constant slope. So it's going to be a straight and increasing line, and that is potassium iodide. So this one is correct, and potassium iodide is correct. All right, Marie and Calvin, this one is a, an incorrect answer. And what I mean is you need to really pay attention because if you have this question, you are gonna need to mark saturated, even though we know that if solute is collecting at the bottom of the beaker, it is a super saturated solution. So be sure you choose saturated, even though that is not the correct answer. All right, we have three to choose from. The solubility of NaCl is the least affected by temperature, that is true. You can completely dissolve 60 grams of KBR at 20 degrees. 20 degrees, 60 grams, it's below the KBR line. That means I can dissolve more, so yes, that is true. And then, let's see what E is. If you mix 120 grams, 10 degrees, where 30 grams won't dissolve, or 30 grams too high. So 120 grams, 10 degrees, 120 grams at 10 degrees. So 5, 10, 15, 20. That is above the line by 30, so yes, that is true. So what you need to do now is turn in your packet, and that is all we are doing.